top of the morning folks today is march the 20th 2019 waking up to these monkeys no one really is the biggest number <laughs> 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 all right we are starting our day at the breakfast dinner table let's make it happen folks the time right now is about 10 o'clock and i'm on my way to marino valley i'm going to be showing this uh house that has been in escrow doors they're going to be doing some measurements because they're going to knock things out and they're going to put in a new kitchen and everything like that so it's in escrow it's ready to go i'm going to be meet, meeting the buyer so i got a package for him right now it's going to be a pretty big package but they're going to go look through it skim through it so they have all their paperwork they do it on um signature docusign but it's always good to have a physical copy as well of everything that um, they signed and everything like that. So uh, I'm going to go meet my buyer up right now real quick dude. all that. After that, I have another buyer. And after that, I'll be in the city of Chino Hills. So on my way, making it happen. Let's rock and roll. I am here at the property and we're going to be taking a look around, do some due diligence real quick. This is how she's looking. Let's take a look. I'm at the property right now and I believe something that happened was the water was turned off. So at the ball valve. So I'm gonna go check it out. Figure out what's going on. Turn it on, water. Here's the house. Fire's taking a lot of pictures. First room in here, it's pretty dope. High ceilings, oh. going on in this way. There's a whole lot of room. It's from cut, there's like two from cut, how you get? Garage, this way. Three car garage, that. Okay. Good size laundry room. Let's check outside. And here is the look outside. It's a whole lot of house, I tell ya. Whole a lot of house. So going through here. So my inspector was pointing this out right here, this gate falling down. Could be done a little bit. They love these trees back here. Lots of tree area. Figure that out. This is dope. It's dope. I think that's a lemon tree or something. I wanna check upstairs with everything. Let's see what's cracking right there. Here. You'll see right there. Okay, some of the gates kind of coming in, but they have a lot of room here. It looks good. Oh yeah, the sprinkler system. This patio's okay. They'll hold up. All right, going through. Making measurements here. Let's go check up upstairs. Walking up. So last time we were here, there wasn't that much, there wasn't any type of electricity. So check everything. It's a three-way switch. Okay. Some lights going on here. Okay. There's no lights in here, but there's a thing that goes under. What I like to do is just roam around, make sure all the lights work. Doing that extra for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Because I know about this. This is what I would do if I had to go into a house and figure things out. I wish the water was on, for real. Then I can see what's going on. All right, so we actually got the water running and it was just that toilet that was just leaking, so. My inspector actually turned it off, so then it doesn't go like crazy. So now I can check the water. I got this old school TV. Shit, hello works. 
the time right now is about 12 o'clock and we're finishing up with this house right now. I gotta rush over to, um, to Eastvale and then I gotta show that house. So right now I'm gonna do, even though the buyer or seller, the buyer is here, gotta close everything off because you don't, it ain't done until you get the case, you know what I'm saying? And close everything out. So that's what it is. He's just running around measuring things, but this gentleman is very, very excited to do all of this. First time buyer, that is what's it all about. Heading up to EBC Spell right now. Let's rock and roll. So I just got done showing that property. The seller, I mean, the buyer was in there just roaming around. He wants to, see, he measured all of the restrooms so then he can get like a quote on doing material, everything like that, building it up. He wants to rip out all the restrooms and go from there. And I was like, damn, that's like down my alley, yo. So if you guys go with us, man, we sell you houses and we can give you the services of renovations and everything like that just to help you out as you're going through and everything like that. So it's just a really good, solid deal. Um, going back to escrow, when we were into escrow, this phase is that you negotiate, negotiate, figure out what's going on with the house and then try to see if they can fix it, one, or they can credit. So that's the option. You have two options in escrow. So usually when you're in escrow, you want to go through all that or you know what I mean? Like just little things here and there. They could be like, for instance, when I saw the garage door, I was like, dude, the garage door doesn't work. That means that's not good. I saw smoke detectors. That's not good. What's going to happen? How can you help us out? You get what I'm saying? So it's either for the buyer to look at all that stuff and ask for more and the seller to either say no or fix it or give credit. So today I got my broker to talk to them and they're uh, to the agent and it's, hey, they might walk or whatever like that. She said what she could do and they boom, we got a credit. So it was, it's better than nothing, but it's a dang credit. So that's just the process of escrow. It goes into a third party um, company, buyer, seller side, and a third party. And we go into this third party and they give us disclosures. We go in, we try to figure out, putting out addendums, making sure like, okay, we want this, we want X and X and X and X. And this person goes, okay, no, no, yes, no, no, yes. So we got to an agreement that we're gonna get um, this escrow, um, gonna be credited down, and then now just close it out, boom, we're good. On to the next one. So I am so happy that this is what's going on. And right now I'm going to my next um, site. It's gonna be Eastville. So I'm gonna be out there. It's gonna take me a little bit longer because it's like traffic time at this time. However, showing another house. Let's run it, folks. We're at another spot right here. Checking it out for my buyers. Let's run through. Little patio. There's like a big open area right here. As you can see. Without the dogs here, but it's in there. Walking through this way. You know, it's a nice kitchen. Coming in. Flooring. Is good. I like it how it's like separated from the rest. I mean, everything else, everything down that way. All right, let's look at some of the rooms. All right, going into the masters. Yeah, the color, maybe like that too. It's not that great, but you know, at least it's something. Well, we're gonna have to talk about that. It's interesting in this room, the flooring, they don't have done. So a few things with that, or we can get credit for that or whatever. So we'll figure it out. This is the master bedroom. Garage, like, dang, this guy, like, got a bunch of trophies. And he runs this freaking things, hot rods. Oh, yeah. The house from outside. It's a nice little house that they got. And the best thing is that she has family and they can walk home. They're like very close to each other. You get what I'm saying? So that's like such a plus that they can you know, essentially get this house. 
the Griffin Extreme team. Okay, we're gonna stay in touch. I'm back on the road right now and um, I just showed the house. The buyers loved it. However, they gotta get through the <gasps> whole pre-approved and everything like that and get the lender. And Cause the husband was like, hey, if you like it, then I'll run my credit and everything like that. But if you don't, then I don't know if I should or anything like that. So right now they're just like, okay, we love the house. Let's go, let's figure it out and go from there. So that is exciting. And I talked to the realtor, so that's how you gotta do it. You wanna go into it and be like, okay, they wanna make an offer. Let's look for things. There was like, you know, dog bites kind of in area, some areas. And then they had, uh, I believe um, the, the laundry room and the other room, the the restroom, master restroom, didn't have flooring. So they had to cover it out for a bit. So for flooring, they had to do. And um, yeah, so I think they're going to have a good deal with it. He's, he's actually a single dad. He's going through a divorce kind of type of deal. So a lot of things going on with him. So he's in a position that wants to just like get rid of it and everything like that. So we're going to give him an offer, go from there. Right now, I'm having some tacos from uh, Jack in the Box because I am on the go. Mm -hmm. Gotta get to my next site, which is in Chino Hills at the restaurant. This restaurant, we're going to be uh, doing some electrical or something like that real quick. So, gotta go. Sell houses after that. Fix businesses. So, let's go! Pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. Right here. This is coming soon. Dang, all right, I see. I see this thing going on right now. Hello, got you? All right, this going on. Bunch of stuff going on. Let's figure it out. Where's Pops at? What's up, Pops? Hey. Nice smile, no hand. Mm -hmm. Hanger, and liar. Hey, Pops doing it. The time right now is about 6.30 and I've been at this for quite a while. Just hooking a bunch of things up. Finding out some wires have been cut and then we gotta think about all the bulbs that have been messed up too. So I'm like, okay, gotta figure it out, figure it out. Just changing a bunch of electricity, so. We're about to get this thing up and running in no time. Pops been working on this right here real quick with all the, you know, new kind of hosing and everything like that. Kind of customize everything so it's good to go when opening day comes. So while somebody cut wires, if this connects, damn. Somebody cut his wires and now all of them work. Dude, so that switch. It's in the night and I got most of these lights working right here real quick. So I was doing most of the electrical, finding out. I found this round and that round, found all that round. And the, this is what I got to focus on tomorrow. So almost all the lighting and the electrical outlets, probably tomorrow, plug it in.